Jesus knows all our problems, and he set me free. I will sing hallelujah. I would say hallelujah. I would sing. You've got an experience coming to you. Go downstairs in the lift, down the stairs. <clears throat> you want the right hand platform. The right hand platform, that's that, you know, right. Yes, okay. Get on the train to King's Cross, which is one stop to King's Cross, all right? Okay. And then you change onto the Pickley Dickley line, all right? <laughs> we don't understand, but uh, because we don't hear you. Go downstairs on the right. Okay. okay. Right? Yes. Change at King's Cross. King's Cross. Onto the Pickley Dickley line. Pickley? Pickley Dickley. Okay. And get out of Covent Garden. Okay. 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 If you get lost, come back. I'll tell you again for nothing. All right? Okay. okay. Thank you. Have a nice Good day. Sir. Oh, have a, have a nice day. What a load of crap. Nice, please. Thank you. There's a new entrance. Mm -hmm. Posh, isn't it? That's that's at the lower landing. That that, that that goes down to the track. And that's that big escalator going up. Isn't it smart? Be the poshest station in London that one. Of course they won't have little turds like us in charge of a station like that. Why not? <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> If there is a God and there is heaven, I'm going to ask him a lot of bloody questions when I get up there because I, I want to know what all this is all about. Hey, you don't ask to be born, do you? Do you? No. Right, no, nobody asks to be born. They're here from the pure selfishness of their parents. The, the mother or the father did not decide they want children. So you're propelled into this earth. You don't, don't ask to be born, and once you've been born, you're just waiting to die, basically, aren't you? You're born, you live, you die. You're here, you're, you're not, you are, and you're not. And that's the end of it. And I want to know why. But there's supposed to be a certain amount of pleasure in the meantime. Oh, there is. In fact, that's, in fact, that's the only answer I could ever give my son when he said to me one day, why was I born, Dad? 
why am I here? I said, well, if you hadn't been born, no, son, you wouldn't have had known the pleasure of what it is to be alive. But that makes it sound as if you're very depressed. I'm not depressed at all. Realistic, I think, more the term. It's like, it's like people say, often say to me, why aren't you ever miserable? I said, well, I said, I think I've come to terms with, if you can come to terms with the sort of life you've got, like, lack of education, uh, lack of opportunity because of the war, things like that, and you can still fit into a niche and be prepared to accept that you're not going to go any further. I think that's the difference between being happy and miserable. Because I'm not going to achieve anything in life. So, uh, as you say, I must be depressed, must not I? <laughs> what would you actually like to have achieved? I don't really know. Dreams you can have, but that's not the same as wanting to achieve something, is it? I like to have been, first thing, I like to have been taller. Because being, being short is a bit of an obstacle. I like to have had a better education. And so I, I was more aware of things, you know, like the, um, the, better, the better things in life, like good literature, good paintings, and that sort of thing. But having said that, I'll get by all right, I suppose. Mrs. thinks I'm wonderful, and I'm, my mother thought I was lovely. I can't be too bad. You think I'm gorgeous, don't you? I think you're wonderful. I think you're wonderful. Can I drink my water now, please? Yes. Thank you.